first thing that you're going to do when you do any testing is label your tubes first. So with ABO testing, you're going to have a tube that has the patient's name on it, um, but also the reagent on it. So if you will notice this rack back here, my tubes are matching the reagents that we're going to use in them. Now these three um, up on the left are called the forward typing. We have the anti A, the anti B, and the anti D. These are called forward typing because they have antibodies in them that are going to bind to any antigen um, protein on the patient's red cells uh, if they're present, and that would cause agglutination. So when we look at the forward, that is actually the reaction that we're thinking of when we're thinking of trying to um, identify the person's blood type. So we think uh, A, B, pos, so that would be a positive in this tube, a positive in this tube, and a positive in that tube. If we were thinking O, positive, we would have a positive in the D, the anti-D, because D is um, what everyone considers RH, even though RH is actually a group. The D antigen is what we're looking at when we think of something um, AB pos or AB neg. If we had O, then we wouldn't have either one of these two antigens on there, so these two reactions would be negative. Now, when we talk about the reverse typing, we're talking about looking at reagent cells and how they react to the patient's plasma or liquid portion of the blood. So we're testing reagent uh, red cells against the antibodies that are in the patient's plasma. So if there is a reaction there, it's confirming the reaction that was in the forward typing.